up a bit of lunch for us. <laughs> Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Great sweetheart. Great to see you. Wonderful. Hey, congratulations on the book. Oh, look, I'm Number just, I'm just so something? happy. I'm so happy it's come out at last. Uh, I'm so happy that uh, I finally finished 14 uh, months of persecution by Prue, <laughs> who just absolutely put me through it. Uh, but um, I'm really happy with it. I'm very happy with the result as far as uh, it going to number 14 mm -hmm. within two weeks, and it's now in a reprint already. Sensational. It, your title is I'm Not That Kind of Girl. Well, what sort of girl are you? <laughs> well, actually, the book is... See, the first book I had in 94 was uh, a book about Carlotta, showgirl, mm -hmm. all the show business things. Mm -hmm. But what, what I found with this book is that it's about three people. It's about Carlotta... She comes off stage. I really put her back in the closet. Mm -hmm. Carol Spencer, which is me, mm -hmm. and uh, Richard in the past, when mm -hmm. I was um, a young boy, before I got into all this. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, it's stories about which I've never ever spoken about before. You know, the childhood, the um, How tough was the trauma childhood? with my stepfather. It was just, um, it was very hard to do. What was the toughest thing about your childhood? I think that toughest thing about my childhood was probably, which I didn't realise, doing this book's been the best therapy for me because it's brought out things that I've had bottled up inside for so long. Mm. Um, my mother, you know, was just fantastic. You know, I, I, as I got older, I understood how hard it must have been for her during the war to have a child out of wedlock mm. and... Um, still go to work and do what she did because, I mean, a lot of girls can't even cope with it today, but no. back then it would have been a lot harder. Mm. You're also cooking this morning, so let's <laughs> have a chat. So what are you going to well, cook I'm for gonna us? Well, I'm going to do... I'm going to do... Uh, like, everyone likes my cooking, but what I do... Because I'm really busy with my show at the moment because mm. uh, I'm doing... Uh, well, let's uh, start, Carlotta. Carlotta's Priscilla. All right, you can... I believe you're good at this. I'm just Can you crack fabulous. a couple of eggs for Can me I there? Can I crack a couple of eggs? Okay. Yeah, but I've got to fix my hair, darling, because I, I can't have long hair in the kitchen. Oh, OK. Well, that's, I've that's just got health requirements. <laughs> no health requirements, so I'll just get the gidget okay, on. OK, two of these? For an old boiler. Hey? Two of these? Yeah, two of those. OK. Done. No, no, wait a minute. Pour some milk into it. Milk. Is this milk? Yeah, this yeah just a little bit of milk. A little bit? Say so when? Woo! <laughs> Oh, I'll put three eggs in there. Yeah, three eggs in Beat there. Beat it up. Beat it up. God, you're doing the pigtail girl thing. Yeah, I'm just doing things. But listen, love, I've got little umbrella. I've got little aprons for us. Show what girl aprons. Got? Here we are. Got... <laughs> you are kidding me. I'll take it. Hold no, we've got to have the. We've got to have the look, darling. Oh, I'm loving gotta this. Got to have the look. Do you like that? Oh, that's even better. Now, send your light. <laughs> I, I love them because, I mean, that's I'm what I see. I'm loving this. I'm, I turned 60 the other week and I thought, oh, these are good for the kitchen, you Duh. know. I'm Someone new comes this. over, I can... Uh, I, just, I can walk away. I'm feeling much better about myself. <laughs> Golly. OK, let's get into this. All right, so we beat this, right? And yep. Look, what I do is I cut up chicken pieces mm. and um, I just crumb them, but I don't crumb them in ordinary crumbs. I use stuffing. Oh, yeah. Stuffing. And then all I do is, like... Dip them in there. And stuff them in there. Throw them in there. Good. Hey, listen, when you were writing this book, and this is the second, as you said, and Prue McSween, well known Prue McSween, yeah. who is a fabulous journalist, has done a wonderful job, but I know she tried to drag all sorts of stuff out of you, as when you write a book, you're responsible for telling the truth and being honest. Um, were a lot of people nervous about you naming names? We've had a conversation yes. going back a few years on Midday. You have uh, known very personally some of the most high-profile men in this country. How nervous were they? Well, they were very nervous. I remember when the first book came out, I, my house was full of flowers with <laughs> cards just saying thank you, but no signatures. Mm. This year, I never got any. Mm. Not one. Mm. So uh, either they're dead, because <laughs> I've been around since uh, God knows when, and, um, or they were uh, happy with what, the way I did the book. But, you know, we have such... Um, we can't do a Kitty Kelly book in Australia. Would you to want do it to? Offshore. No, I really don't want to because I really think that, you know, what my... Um, Am I doing this all right, by the way? Come on, you're fantastic. Got a supervisor here. They no, don't no, leave me fantastic. alone in the kitchen. Right, I'll do the salad. Here. So, all these high-profile blokes, some years ago were pretty nervous, but you didn't name the names. Yes, I didn't okay. name the names, but um, you've got to be... Um, look, I've got too many friends in show business mm. and I really didn't want to cross a lot of... Um, 
How lonely, bad company, you know. How lonely wanna... and how tough has it been for you in your life with your unusual, natural, biological, is that the right word? Circumstances. Yeah, well, it was tough earlier, uh, mm -hmm. Kerry, but, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, you know, when I first started at Lay Girls years ago, who'd have thought 30 years, 30 years on they'd be doing it on the football show? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever thought, you, you know, you'd get, it. Them, get them into drag on the football show. And, I mean, you've got to, you've got to say, it's we're, we're a very accepting, uh, accepting, tolerant, tolerant, um, tolerant, or, or tolerant um, people in Australia. Mm -hmm. And they just love a drag queen. I don't know what it is, but I've never been able to put my finger on it. But I suppose Thank it's goodness. good entertainment. Okay, see, we've crumbed these. What do you do with them? Because we've got to wrap this up now. Yeah. So once we you've get these done out. those, we've done the salad. Yeah. You crumb them. Mm-hmm. I bring these I like out. This. Move that aside. Mm -hmm. You've got your salad. Love now, the salad. I do Turkish bread, Ooh, a little bit of oil. How do you right. do the oil? Just pour it over the top with salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. You get a bit of salad. Mm-hmm. Whack that on. Whack that on the plate. Mm-hmm. Like that. What's your worst job? Get a few of your chicken what's, pieces. What's the worst job you ever did? The worst job I ever did? Mm -hmm. Topless yeah. bar girl. Oh, why? Well, any particular reason? Well, in those days, I had big silicon boobs. Oh. And they Are they had gone now? <laughs> yes, they've gone. Okay. I'm natural now. <laughs> as natural Love as it. I can be. And then I do a bit of a vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Just pour it over the top. Mm -hmm. Show girl on the run lunch. Love that. Hey, I'm not that kind of girl. It's out now. Colour, it's always entertaining and wonderful to catch up. You're one of the nicest birds around. <laughs> and we appreciate it. And congratulations to Prue McSween, because she does do wonderful She work. does do a fabulous job. Hey, look job. after yourself. And I'm sorry, I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm feeling much better about myself for summer now. You want to... <laughs> <laughs> Still to come, uh, are you Katie Underwood, pop star. Oh, great. She's one, a great Fantastic. singer. She'll be joining us to perform live. We spin the wheel. But coming up next, how you can win a million dollars. Stay with us. I am one.